Now, when you're first starting off with hypothesis testing, you're going to be doing either one-tailed or two-tailed tests. So I'm going to give you a few examples of each, starting with an example I've been using for a while now. School District A states that its high schools have an 85% passage rate on the high school exit exam. A new school was recently opened in the district, and it was found that a sample of 150 students had a passage rate of 88% with a standard deviation of 4%. Does this new school have a different passage rate than the rest of school district A? So the question right here is, does the school have a passage rate that is different, that is different than 85%? This is a two-tailed test because we're testing to see if the mean is either below 85% or above 85% because it just has to be different. So if the alpha was 0 0.05, then our distribution would look something like this with tails on either side because it's a two-tailed test. Now if the question was higher, does the school have a passage rate that is greater than 85%, this would be a one-tailed test because we're only testing to see if the mean is greater than 85%. And it would look something like this with our 0 0.05 alpha at the top because we're testing to see if it's greater than 85%. And also we could ask if it's lower, does the school have a passage rate that is less than 85%? This is a one-tailed test because we're only testing to see if the mean is less than 85%. So it'll look just like that with the alpha on the bottom below the expected 85%. So remember, for two-tailed tests, testing to see if your calculated value is either above or below where it's expected to be. And a one-tailed test is, testing only to see if your value is above where it's expected to be, or testing only to see if your calculated value is below where it's expected to be. Those are one-tailed and two-tailed tests. It just specifies the direction of the test you're performing.